Okay, Neil and Coral, we'll come to the end of day three, the final day of Rally Australia. Uh, and once again, we're in the service park, uh, Sands Car. Can you uh, explain what happened today? Uh, look, uh, in total terms, we call this a bugger of a day. But um, we uh, you know, went out this morning and it was all going very well. But then uh, in the third stage, which was a really rough stage, uh, the oil light came on and lost oil pressure and the oil light came on, so I pulled over. And what had happened is, uh, through my uh, off-road excursion yesterday, the new radio radiator that went in was a, a test radiator, and it had uh, two sensors on the oil cooler and um, to measure oil temperature in and out of the oil cooler, and it was only a test radiator, and that uh, one of those fittings cracked and leaked oil out, and so I had to stop and bypass the oil cooler. And, but uh, by the time I'd done that, we got to next control. We were out of late time by two minutes, so. Uh, we did the next two stages, one was the spectator stage, just for the spectators, because look, you know, we had enormous support over this weekend, and I'd like to thank all the spectators for their support. I haven't seen that much cheering and uh, waving for, for years, so that was fantastic. But uh, at the end of the day, when we got to the lunch break, uh, they said you're out of lunch, uh, out of late time, and, and that was that. So that now, was <laughs> obviously, it's been a, a real race of attrition, uh, and it's been a very, very long rally. Uh, Coral, how have you found the event just from a, a co-driver's point of view from inside the car? Look, I, the event has been fantastic and it has been long. It's a long, tough, um, difficult event but very enjoyable. But for us, the disappointment of the couple of little things that have happened have overshadowed the enjoyment of the event um, because obviously we wanted to be at the finish and um, you know, have, a, have a good finish and we finished earlier than we wanted to on both days, unfortunately. But look, uh, in saying that, the Corolla had incredibly good speed and it was incredibly reliable. It's just, uh, you know, one mistake by me that, uh, you know, caused a flow on effect. So really the car was, you know, amazingly strong and there was an enormous amount of interest in the, in the Corolla from all around the world. So, uh, you know, that, that's a very good thing. And, uh, yeah, as I say, just uh, disappointed with myself, but, uh, yeah, the problem was perfect. Yeah, but you know, being Neil saying he's disappointed when we had that moment, really, we didn't do any damage to the car at all. We were very unlucky that a branch happened to be where it was and he's the radiator. So, you know, from that perspective, it was it was very unlucky and disheartening, probably. And I guess, on a more positive note, the uh, first running of Rally Australia on the east coast seems to be an overriding success. Look, the spectator numbers were huge out there today it was just it was really great to see how many people came to this event and Neil and I were lucky to have just huge almost overwhelming support from all the spectators so that part of it was was absolutely fantastic and I, I would say that this event has been very successful uh, the locals have loved it the spectators that have come here have loved it the roads were challenging but good roads and I would think that all the drivers have really enjoyed it